So years ago, a guy said to me, hey, I got this new paraglider. It's an experimental. I think it's okay. We flew it a little. This is, gosh, 92, 93, something like that. I was just out of college, young kid. Had my own skydiving school that I started myself, which was pretty scary in itself. And I had this experimental paraglider. And I went to the, to the mountain, not too far from my house, and I brought my, uh, my stepbrother with me at the time. And he didn't know much about this stuff. And I was like, here, I'm just going to show you kind of roughly how to do it. We're not going to take off. We're at the top of a mountain with, you know, sort of smooth area, and then there's trees down below. So we're not planning on launching. This is you learning how to run and get the paraglider over your head and then stop and collapse. And maybe you'll get a little baby bird flight, you know, where you, you do like a 10-foot step. You know, one, one step is 10 feet like you're on the moon. That's it. That's all I expect. No wind. Perfect. And he's doing these really wimpy launches. He's like sort of non-committal. And the paraglider is not really inflating and it's falling on the ground. No, 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 no. Uh, here, let me, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to demonstrate. Because I can describe it, but I, I can't. I have to demonstrate. I'm going to demonstrate to you what I call a positive launch. Positive launch. With conviction. And I want you to envision a bull charging. And so I got up, you know, as far as I could in the back, and I laid the paraglider out just right, and I meditated for maybe 10, 15 minutes. I got myself completely in the zone on the top of this beautiful mountain in upstate New York, and I felt ready. You know what I mean? Ready. And I got up very gracefully and slowly, and I prepared myself, and I exhaled slowly, and as I did, the wind started to pick up, and I thought, isn't that lovely? You know, that the, the sky would help me to, you know, it's like saying, come with me. Well, I didn't realize how much. And I charged so hard that I launched this thing right off the mountain. Right, I mean, like, over the gigantic trees, looking down, no going back. <laughs> you know, I was, like, gone, off the mountain. Didn't expect that. <laughs> More success than I was hoping for. And so now, of course, I, you know, I, I have several choices. One is to freeze and land in the trees. Not fun. Had done that before. Instead, I chose to put the, put the paraglider into brakes, slow the situation down, slow my internal situation down, and look for options. And I found one. I found a switch, like a sort of a mountain road where there was a parking area, and there's one car there, I wasn't worried about it, and I set myself up in a nice flight pattern to put me down on this, what I knew was not going to be terribly flat, but good enough, right? And I swooped it in, I glided across the ground, and I'm sliding on the gravel, you know, sometimes by the side of the road you get that slippery gravel, and sliding, 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 and I came to a stop right up to the car <laughs> where this young couple was in brace, you know, romantic moment, and they're looking at me. Hi! And at that point, you know, of course, I'm explaining what happened. Don't worry, it's okay, it happened. You know, they're like, what is this, a lost paratrooper or something? You know? And I couldn't, I, maybe it was about a minute later, out from the trees <laughs> comes my brother in law, or stepbrother, my bad, covered like in scrapes and things, sprinted all the way down the mountain because <laughs> he, he was sure I was dead. And, you know, I think this is the way it goes sometimes, right? Is that things go so well that you're going to, you know, you're going to get scared from that. And there's other times where the opposite happens. Ah!